Testing, testing. Is this thing on? Okay, here we go. Hello, woman of God, Shanae Cartwright, success strategist, mental health advocate, and mental health counselor. Now that we got that out of the way, today is self-care Saturday. And this is what God has been dealing with me about. I've been talking about alignment for a long time, right? How do you know that you are in alignment with God? Well, on this self-care Saturday, this is what I want you to focus on. I want you to take a self-assessment of your innermost thoughts. What are your thoughts like? What do you think about the most? And then I want you to ask yourself the question, do these thoughts align with the word of God? Believe it or not, most Christians, as they matriculate in their relationship with God, they never reach the place where they remove the thoughts of their carnal nature, their self of their past, the old man, and they fill themselves up with the word of God. And they don't understand why they don't live the abundant life, why they don't have results that the Bible declares that they should have. For example, living an abundant life that Christ talks about. And one of the reasons why we don't have that life is because our mind has not been transformed. Romans 12 and 2 tells us, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind must be transformed. And the way that we transform our mind, and that word transform just means change, is by a renewal. What needs to be renewed? And sometimes what needs to be replaced? What are those thoughts that you have taken a hold of from your childhood, from trauma, through past relationships, through maybe ungodly connections, through exposure, maybe just living in the world, taking in, being a sponge concerning the things of this world. And what are some areas that really you need to get rid of? You have become a person who has gravitated to the things of this life and the things of this world to where now you just walk around using the world standards, the world's vision and perspective, and a lot of cliches concerning your life. But if you truly want to be in alignment with the things of God and you want to have the peace that surpasses all understanding, I dare you to renew your mind. And the way that you do that is by using the word of God. To the word today, even if it's the scripture in eight 28 Romans 8 28 that tells us that as we are living this life that all things are going to work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose but you have to receive that you have to believe that you have to meditate on that and that means you have to remove and replace remove the old and replace it with the new it's self-care Saturday I love you. A mind change equals a life change. I will see you next time. God bless you.